Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here on Amethyst Mountain with Nightlight, our fast, sleek, shadowy wolf, the wolf of the shadows. We spent the day yesterday with his brother Atlas roaming around and searching. Let's see, are we headed to the fossil forest? We're headed to the fossil forest. We spent the day yesterday with Atlas, his goofier brother, roaming around and searching around Lost River to try to find more of the achievements that can be gained in the Lost River area. And today we are going to spend our time with Nightlight, trying to find him potentially a mate. We might find a mate today. And if we don't find a mate, ah, there we go. The Fossil Forest. All right, really old trees. Achievement unlocked. That is what I was hoping to reach. Look at this. All right, let's see if we can safely wiggle over here. All right, look at this. So awesome. And then there's just the vista. Whoa, and I just walked him right off a cliff. Didn't mean to do that to you, buddy. There we go. Here are the really old trees. Look at this. Fossilized wood. Oh, this is awesome. How is this so cool? It just really is so cool. I love it. I love it. Look at the view we have from over here, too. This is so cool. Oh, my gosh. I would love to see a fossilized forest one day in real life. But yes, we are here with Nightlight and we are roaming around the mountain. He's been chasing off bears, which is pretty good because he's kind of more aggressive compared to Atlas. He roams around, gathers up experience, um, chasing off bears and coyotes. He doesn't put up with any predators really lurking where his home territory might be. He doesn't let a single coyote or bear cross his path without dealing with them. And that actually has served him really well because now he has enough experience that I think potentially we might be able to go and find a mate for him. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we're going to look over at the Vista and potentially at Amethyst Mountain to kind of see what kind of mates he could potentially run into. I don't think we have met any wolves from the Vista yet. But yeah, Nightlight, you guys are so excited for his litter. It's gonna be really fun to be able to move on with Nightlight's litter and carry on the moon pack legacy. And it's been so exciting seeing how many of you guys were all like, yes, yes, hour long wolf quest, make it happen, make it happen. Well, it may not be an hour long, that's really long for wolf quest. It's almost enough time to play through an entire pack, but we will be poking around. Um, hmm, should we go hunting first? Let's take out one more elk first, just to see, just to see if we're gonna be able to get like, Plenty of experience and get all the good stuff. In fact, I think there's something we're supposed to look around and like find a campfire or something around here too. So hmm, that's somewhere in the entire like map area that we're in. But yes, so Nightlight, we're gonna try to get him a mate. And Atlas, we're gonna try to get him a mate and we will follow the two brothers' tales and we'll just continue to follow the journey of the two brothers kind of going back and forth. Okay, so we're in the hunting ground going back and forth between the two. Oh, it's a coyote! We will not put up with that. Down you go, little guy. Take this, take this, take more bites. Nightlight is not the kind to let you just like sneak around around here. All right, that was a female coyote and we took her out. What's this? Okay, elk from four minutes ago, three minutes ago. But yeah, so on Sundays probably will be, or maybe Saturdays, we'll see, will be the day where we will do a double long episode, which means we will play a whole day as Nightlight and play a whole day as Atlas. And we'll just have to see, maybe their packs will catch up with each other. Maybe Atlas will be able to have a mate. We'll definitely have at least one litter with Atlas, so I'm pretty excited about that. I love the stories you guys come up with all of the wolves too. Okay, okay, who's the weak one? Okay, we're gonna kind of stick to the shadows. Try to pick out one of the weaker elk. Everybody's looking pretty healthy so far. All right, what about you? Pretty healthy. You, not, not so bad. She might be our best bet. Ah, that's our best bet right here. All right, let's get her. A hunting we will go. Maybe we'll hunt with whatever mate Nightlight finds. Just a little bit before we move on to trying to raise a family with her. We need to make sure she's a good mate, you know what I mean? We've learned our lesson with Twilight. I mean, Twilight was a really good mate. I really do think that she just maybe got sick or something. That's what we're gonna call that horrific glitch that we ran into, is that Twilight just got sick and it happens sometimes. Maybe she got kicked like too hard in the head. Maybe like she got some sort of illness. Come on, come on. Oh, the tree was gonna try to help. Thank you, tree. All right, let's get this cow elk. 
But yeah, it'll be really fun following just the legacy of all the wolves. At first I was just gonna like stick really strictly to just one wolf. But you guys have really convinced me that it would be really fun to like follow maybe a pair of them. Oh, she was smart. Oh, it's a coyote. Oh, we don't have time to go back and get him. She was so smart. Did you see that? She led us straight over to the bull elk. And we took like a really bad hit. We're gonna have to come over here. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to eat this like elk carcass. Because we almost don't have enough. All right, ma'am. It's the end. She was so smart. She led us right past the bull elk and we got kicked right in the chest. And it looks like he took a pretty bad wound from that. He's definitely a little bit of a lightweight compared to his brother. Because Atlas, like, Atlas is like a brick wall. But Atlas is also very timid. And I think that that is going to serve him, not serve him so well in some situations, but serve him better in others. So we'll have to see. Like, I could see Nightlight ending up, like, in a really deadly fight with another wolf pack or maybe ending up in a pretty, like, dangerous fight with the predators because he just doesn't put up with anybody messing around in territories that he wants to consider his. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and we're going to change the time to night. Nightlight's time. And we're going to go in at night to investigate in another wolf pack's territory. Oh, wow. Maybe we'll run across some more bears, too. I bet that's secretly what he's hoping for. <laughs> to be able to chase off some more bears. Oh, stars! Oh. Now, this would be something I would love to do one day. Is to be able to go out and just be somewhere where there's no light pollution and just be able to see the stars as clearly as possible. I think that would be amazing. All right, and we're gonna run across. I wonder if we'll find a mate at the Vista. I don't know. I have a feeling, like I said before, a lot of Nightlight's experiences in life are probably going to come from raising his family. He's not really a wolf to like spend a lot of time dilly-dallying versus his brother who's going to spend a lot of time running in circles because he's adorable that way. All right, we're in the other wolf's territory now. Wow, it's really hard to see things at night. But that's okay because we have a very powerful nose to sniff things out. Oh, I, hear, I heard an owl. There's not really a lot of carcasses here, so they must keep the area pretty clear of scavengers. Alright, anything, anything? We're definitely downwind, so they might send us for... Or, like, yeah, we're, we're upwind. Oh, what? Did we just run into the edge? Really? Oh, 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 what's this? I saw something. What's this? Hmm. I'm not seeing another... Another wolf's trail. All right, we're looking, looking. We're in the other wolf's territory. I think we ran all the way out of the territory and then back in. Are there no wolves here at the Vista? I thought night would be like the perfect time to come and sneak in on them, but maybe we'll have to wait till dawn. Let's look around a little bit more. Dang, I don't think there's any other wolves here. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and we're actually going to wait until morning. So we're going to sleep until dawn. And then we will search again, trying to find if there's another wolf here. We might have to go up to Amethyst Mountain. That's my That might be what we have to do before we are able to discover where the, the Vista wolf pack went off to. There you go, Nightlight. All right. So, yeah, we're in the wolf pack territory. Let's roam along the edges again. Maybe we'll go over towards where that food is. Maybe they're over there. All right, maybe we'll have to whip around, but anywhere we go, we're zigzagging all over the place. The wind direction doesn't seem to matter here because we're not finding the other wolf. Is it because we chased off that other one? Huh. Well, we had to run away from the plains wolf. She was a little bit too strong. All right, well, we'll come up to this carcass. All right, anybody around this carcass? Hello? Nope, just a carcass. Well, we'll kind of take a nibble. It's our food now. If you guys aren't going to show up and, like, claim your territory, then maybe I'll just take over, huh? All right, let's see. Yeah, we're still in the territory, but... Oops, there's a coyote. Eh. Not having any of this, Mr. Coyote. Not having any of this. 
There we go. All right, so there's a coyote. He was just coming along to scavenge the food. It's dawn. Anybody here? Somebody should be establishing like territory markers. If I was in charge of this pack, I would be peeing on all the things right now. So where is everybody else? All right, let's see. Sniff, 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 sniff. Dang it, we're gonna have to move on and try like the mountain wolf packs. Because it looks like we've scared off all the competitors. Our reputation of Nightlight being so aggressive perhaps precedes us. That, that kind of goes with his shadow thing too. In reality, he's a very skinny, tiny wolf. But everybody is like running away from him because he's supposed to be so tough and dangerous. All right, well, we'll zigzag through the hunting grounds and then work our way up the mountain because I am ready to start working on having some puppies. I wonder how many litters we'll have with Nightlight. We'll probably have one litter with Atlas and a lot of you guys were excited about the idea of giving Eclipse perhaps a Christmas litter. So we might have a Christmas special where we just focus, or like an end of the year special, where we give Eclipse just one last litter, a new mate and one last litter, just to, to see him off on a happier note because I do miss Eclipse a lot. He's probably one of my favorite wolves. Is that a carcass? Yeah, there's a carcass way over there on the mountain. All right, we'll come down here. If we run into the elk, then we'll go ahead and hunt. If we don't, then we'll go ahead and zig up, zigzag up to the mountain. And we're just gonna have to see, oh, I hear the little woodpeckers. Oh, huh? I hear the elk. I don't smell the elk. I don't see the elk. Where are the elk? Where are they? I don't see them. With scent view. Hello? Alright, the music's playing, so I feel like we should be really close to them. But I don't see anybody. Is this the elk we killed last time? I think this is the elk we killed last time. Alright, we'll go ahead and feed on the carcass. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't see any elk moving through the forest right now. So dusk might be the best time to try to hunt them. Here's an old carcass. I hear like owls and woodpeckers. Hmm. All right, well, no sighting of the elk. So maybe dawn is not the best time to run into everybody. We might have to roll around in mid-afternoon, maybe try dusk again. But we're gonna come up and we're gonna see if we are able to find a wolf up on Amethyst Mountain. So let's work our way up through the forest. Keep our eyes peeled for any bears, maybe any coyotes. We're just asking for trouble. Let's see, I don't see any of them. Hmm. Don't see any of them. Hmm. I feel like Nightlight would be ready for a mate by now. Just because he feels like a more impatient wolf. So if we find somebody on Amethyst Mountain, we find somebody on Amethyst Mountain. I feel like he'd be a little bit practical that way. Whereas Atlas would be more like, if he could care about such things, more worried about like matching personalities and things like that. Oh jeez. Is the stamina really good on wolves up here? Because it takes forever to like climb the mountain. All right, now the zigzagging begins again. We need to hunt around and find the wolves of Amethyst Mountain. Even though it's taking forever to climb up here. Maybe if we walk around a little bit. Oh, look at that view. Wow, that is pretty. All right, I will admit the view from Amethyst Mountain is gorgeous. All right, let's start running around. Oh, 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 oh. Dispersal female, what? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, play cool, play cool, Nightlight, play cool. Okay, all right. Ooh, I like her look too. I like her look. It's it's different than the looks we've been having. Okay, let's come over here. All right, Nightlight. She's not sure about this. Play it cool. Say hello there. Um, let's say I like you. Ooh, I wonder if this would be hard for him not to immediately act aggressively. I like her. You know what, I think, I think we might try to get her. Um, let's see, let's play. This is so, it just feels so uncharacteristic of Nightlight. 
I, I think Atlas would be the one like playing with his puppies all the time, but I don't, I don't see Nightlight like playing with his puppies in the future. All right, let's try, let's play again. All right. Don't go away, Um, let's be friends. You're okay. Uh, don't go away. Please? Did I do something wrong? Did I need to be more more aggressive? I like you, okay. If we get rejected by her, I'll feel a little bit bad. Um, let's start a pack. <clears throat> uh, don't go away. I may have jumped the gun on that. It's kind of like wolf flirting. There we go. She's sending kind of mixed signals. Okay, don't go away. All right. Um, let's play again. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Maybe now we need to do, um, let's start a pack. Or I like you. Uh, uh, I like you. How about that? What do you think? I feel like he would send really confused. Don't go. Oh, da, 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 da. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. No, I'm doing it again. Don't go away. Okay, we're gonna have to just try get to three hearts and then do the pack. Okay. All right, there we go. I feel like Nightlight possibly sends like slightly aggressive signals without meaning to, because he is a little bit more of an, a very aggressive wolf, especially compared to Atlas. All right, back up to three hearts. All right, let's go ahead. Let's start a pack. All right, how's that? See, he's figuring it out. She's a very patient wolf. I like that about her. She's very pretty, too. We haven't really had a wolf with this coloring yet. All right, let's see. Let's start a pack again. What do you think? What do you think? And I have a, a perfect name in mind for her, too. There we go. I think we just found his mate. All right. Oh, yes, look at this. The wolf, this wolf becomes your mate. Yes, all right. Pandora. There we go, welcome Pandora. And it rained for like half a second there. That was kind of creepy. And there we go. Quest for a mate complete. Congratulations, you've bonded with your mate to complete the Amethyst Mountain Quest. Now your, your mate will be your hunting and exploration partner. All right. Yay, happy together, we got a mate. All right, Pandora, welcome. Welcome to the family. Why is the music playing? Who knows? I don't smell anything. This is kind of awesome. So I think we might do a little bit of hunting with Pandora and then we will work our way over to the creek area. She looks a lot bigger than Nightlight in some ways. So we'll have to see. We'll have to go hunting with her next time to see how these two... Is she following? Yeah. We'll have to go hunting with her next time to see how these two work together as a team. Because I really... Oh, I wonder if she can keep up. Oh yeah, she's keeping up. It suddenly hit me like, oh crap, what, is she, what if she's not able to like keep up because we have a super fast speedy wolf. But yeah, we will work our way down into the hunting grounds and Nightlight and Pandora are going to start getting to know each other a little bit by going hunting for elk together. And we'll see if we've picked us, ourselves a good mate for this guy because I'm really hoping that Nightlight will be able to, to just like see his pack survive. I feel like maybe he learned something from, you know, all of his sisters dying, from running into those bears. He's really tough, and he is ready to do a good job at being a wolf. So, all right, we're going to follow up Nightlight's story in a couple days, and the next time we're going to be back with Atlas, and we are going to be exploring around Lost River, trying to find a few of those achievements I keep missing. Oh, and there's a hare. All right, I did it, I did it. And we've got some food. Ooh, she looked really fast. Did you see how fast she was? Sweet. All right, this might work out perfectly. All right. But yeah, tomorrow we will be back with Atlas and exploring around Lost River, seeing what he is up to, hopefully finding some more achievements, and maybe even finding the lovely guy a mate. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!